Welcome to the Vox People, special Halloween edition. I'm here live with my friends. Hey, yo, KJ. <laughs> hey, yo, Adrian. I could be so back in the of my pumpkin patch. And so what, let's, let's go around and, and, and describe what we are. All right, Tina, you first. I'm Rocky when he's uh, running down the street up all them stairs. Wait, nice. I sound like that. I sound like John Travolta. Apollo! I love it. I love it. I don't have a sweater, gray sweater. Anyway, um, I wasn't Pretty. properly prepared, but go ahead. Uh, Sonny, what are you? you? I am a pumpkin goddess. Pumpkin goddess? Yeah, so as people come into my pumpkin patch, if they're sexy, I slay them. Is that from something? No, it's not from <laughs> anything. I just couldn't come up with anything. So I bought this from gonorrhea dollars and used everything <laughs> else I already had. But but thanks for Christ. calling me out, KJ. I appreciate it. Welcome to our show. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, um, I think Chrissy is a big cat. <laughs> She's a wolf, right? A what? A wolf. A wolf. You're wolf. a wolf? That don't look wolf. like a wolf. It looks yeah. like a wolf. A wolf. And what, what are you, Lulu? I'm Stitch. No. Let me see. I can't see. Oh. Uh, famous Stitch onesie. Lulu and Stitch. And yeah. what are you, KJ? I can never guess what you are, KJ. Uh, I am the Phantom, partially. I don't have the rest of my get up on because I have no idea where it is. Um, <laughs> but I do have this mask, and I can only see out of one eye because the rest of it is too big. Hey, me too. It's like falling out <laughs> off my face. Um, but yes, I was Phantom in the Opera one year for Halloween. So this mask is, I don't even know how many years old. For those of you that don't know, Phantom of the Opera. This me is the too. best joke. <laughs> I love Phantom of the Opera. It's my favorite. I'm just movie. kidding. Okay. Uh, so, anybody cares. So are you going to kick us off with a little Halloween nostalgia? <laughs> Knock it out of the park. Come on, sorry. Knock it out of the park. So what, what we're going to do is go, go back old school. Like, with remember those masks? Lou, you might be too young for this. But remember those masks that had the little string around them? Do you remember the little tiny thin string? And the second, you know, your parents made you take it off at home, it would be all tangled in your hair. And, you know, it would snap back and get you in the face if your, like, siblings or cousins came up and, like, pulled it like that. It would snap back against your face really hard. Yep. Nobody, oh. nobody went through yes. this. I was the only yes. child wow. in America. Literally, <laughs> literally, I'm having flashbacks of said plastic max masks because, like, in the '80s, you had the costumes in the boxes, right, yeah. yes. with the plastic mask, and you had that stupid elastic band that that Sunny just said, and the masks were so hot because it was plastic that your face sweat, like mine is doing at the moment. And you're walking around trick or treating, and you're sweating, and the mask is falling down your face. You can't see, you can't breathe. It's a nightmare. And then the elastic was sometimes so tight that you would adjust it. Then the, the string would break. So now you don't have a mask. Yeah. And then you're like, like the your face. But then right? the thing, too, was those costumes, a lot of the times, at least here in America, those costumes were plastic. Yep. And so you would have to wear my, okay, so my parents always had Brent and I wear our pajamas underneath it. And I'm talking, these weren't like nice cool pajamas. They were like those like winter pajamas. And mm -hmm. so over that, we had to wear these plastic pajamas and you'd be walking and sweating. And, you know, I've always been a big girl. So then your thighs are like hurting, right? Like, cause you're rubbing together all damn day, but it was fun. Yeah. And then my favorite thing about Halloween though, as a kid was when you found out where the good candy was coming from. And like everybody, like every kid on the block would head to that one house that was giving away the full size candy bar. <laughs> I like so, how Tina is threatening us, but like with no real words, she's like, I feel like I should go get my boxing gloves, take off the mask, and then I'll be your like rival. What Apollo, you can't do this. <laughs> oh wait, Apollo won the first. I'll bring one. down the chandelier on both of you. Oh my God! Wow, she straight went crazy. You know, I just gave the line from the Phantom. 
Dennis. That's true. I like when the chandelier like comes yep. crashing down. Where's yep. your piano, KJ Phantom? Danny Phantom. <laughs> Adrian, look now, at the piano. Some of us don't like scary movies, but if you do, what is your favorite scary movie to watch? On Creepers, Creepers. That's a good one. Which one though? The first one, the OG. That one's good. I love Derry. Like, you know, real like like the sister when she's like real nice, you know, bringing home your laundry for mom. And then he's like, I yeah. she gets depressed if I don't. Which yeah, is so yeah. totally true. So I think Christy and, and Lulu is uh what is it, a werewolf in Paris is your favorite movie? Oh knock two out. Boom, boom. Yeah, way to go, Tina. I don't know why I'm turning into Rocky. What, what? <laughs> What's your favorite scary movie, Chrissy? Chucky. What? Chucky. Your, your, your jaw doesn't move? Are you on mine? Chucky. Chucky. <laughs> Chucky, you know the little doll with the red hair. You think he's a toy, but he's not. Yeah, Lulu, what you got? What you got, Adrian? Okay. I have, well, okay, I'm going to say one of them, even if not, like, really. Unfriended. Yeah, Unfriended okay. block. And I did watch one in, like, when I was, like, when I did go, like, with my friends. And I think it was, I don't remember the name. It was that, it was, like, such a scary movie. Adrian? But, Give us the just. What, uh, what, what takes place in it? I don't know. It was like in the in videos too, or something like that. In in videos, in you are videos. selling the show, yo. <laughs> <laughs> you know, but it was a scary one. There was like so much. Wolf. Of there was having a little kid. Oh, gone what? with the wind. That's not scary. <laughs> okay, wait. They were in the house. Okay, there was one one kid who like disappeared. I think and that get like, in, like some weird word or something like that. And it was in oh. videos too, or something like that. So okay, so there's a movie from when I was a I, well, I was in high school. I think I was in like middle school, like maybe fresh into high school. And I think it was called Lisa, but I don't know 110. percent So it? what happens? I think it was called Lisa. And so what happens is um, D. W. Moffett is in it. Who I I don't know if any of you know who that is, but I used to have the biggest crush on him. And so anyway. What happens is these girls are making these crank calls and they're like maybe 14, 15 years old. So they're young. And one of the girls lives with her mom, who's a single mom. And so basically he called, they call and say, you know, something along the lines of, I know what you did. Right. And so he tracks down this call and starts searching them out. And then he thinks the mom is the one that was calling him to say this. It is like, for me at that age, it was like such a thrill ride. Like I loved that movie. I thought it was so good. And it scared the crap out of me. That's awesome. Uh, Lulu texted me the name. It is Insidious 2. I've seen that. He's a scary one though. Like I didn't get scared, but my sister and my friend get scared. And my sister wasn't even watching it, but yeah. Bring it to you, KJ. Um, I guess, well, like, I'm not a big scary movie watcher, but I was just thinking a friend of mine introduced me to Hocus Pocus. What? Which isn't Hocus Pocus, which scary. isn't really scary, but it's Halloween and it's about witches and it's got Bette Miller in it. Um, but it's I was just so thinking uh, uh, the it's Shining. It's a good movie. The Shining is a scary movie. It's not really a Halloween movie, but it's definitely a scary movie. And um, especially, you know, because it's weird and it's Stephen King and Jack Nicholson. And I was just picturing the scene where he's coming to the bathroom door and um, banging, you know, down, knocking the door down with the axe. And then you've got little Danny going, Danny's not here, Mrs. (laughs) Lawrence. And Red Rum, Red Rum. So that could be, you know, a scary movie. It didn't scare me necessarily, but that's a little alarming. You know, the thing is, is Stanley Kubrick, I think, is the director of that movie. Yep. And so there's a pretty famous scene where she's up on a staircase, I think, or maybe, I, I don't know. But either way, 
he this director was so cruel to her and made her film that scene something like 128 times or something what? i'd have to look up the the actual number yeah. um, you can't come on my lap i'm a scary pumpkin right now <laughs> and so anyway so um so anyway I always, I like the background stories, movies, like the little things that happen in the background. So um, I just thought I'd share that little piece of information with you. Yeah. What, um, what is something that you miss? I guess it's kind of the same question and for, regarding nostalgia. What is something you miss uh, as a child when it comes to Halloween? Um, I would say what I miss is um, the excitement, like my brother and I going out to pick out our costumes. I remember that being a really big deal. And back then the costumes came in like a box, you know? Um, I really miss that. Um, and then I missed the whole thing. So what would happen was, so we would always take our showers before we went trick-or-treating. So when we got home, we didn't have to worry about it. And I could remember him and I trading candies um so like I'm not a big fan of like suckers very much or things like that and he was so I would tend to get his chocolate and I would give him all the suckers um things like that so I mean it's it's such a strange thing to miss but I think that's that's what I miss that's beautiful sorry mm -hmm. thank you I think it's strange um my name is pumpkin goddess I like to be referred to as sorry that. PG yeah thank you PJ is good PJ is good now uh Chrissy and Lulu are not in American. It's not big where they are. But do, <laughs> do you have uh, any memories as a child, even if it was just like from movies or TV during Halloween or Chrissy? Um, when <laughs> are you eating a baby? <laughs> <laughs> started not so long ago um halloween so yeah. halloween's not that oh, big over here blinking more than you do pardon no go ahead what were you saying it's not as big as i would love it to be well so i have to say uh christy decorated her house last year it was so good even if like nobody was going to come or a few people were coming it was awesome. It was epic. Chrissy has like crazy masks and things. I just think you're one of the most interesting. And creative. Like so creative. Yeah. So bravo, Chrissy. You look <clears throat> you look like you've had better days, but you look good. <laughs> <laughs> you uh, might need a little bit of a haircut, and I think you might have some fleas. <laughs> <laughs> if you want to oh, walk with me, you? Can. Oh, yeah. You got the flea collar. Yeah, I, mean, take me for I don't walk. think that's the kind of collar it is, but I'm not one to judge. <laughs> Lulu, you have anything you want to say? Yeah, I actually have one memory about Adeline. Just one? Yeah, well, I did it just one, so yeah. Are, are um, you going to share? Could yeah, I was going to say it. <laughs> Uh, like I remember, like my aunt, like asked my parents if we could like could go like sleep at our house at like that night. So like we like fight with our parents to go there as well, like always. And uh, so we got there, and like she did like that sop with like pumpkin, a pumpkin. I can't say that word correctly, but whatever. Pumpkin. Yeah. Thanks. <laughs> so like she was having pumpkins, and like. Uh, after like we put like some costume on like I was a ghost at that time it was funny and yeah we did like go trick and trick and yeah trick or treating <laughs> yeah <laughs> you know I have to say I can't believe I forgot about this because I had originally meant to bring it up but the great pumpkin Charlie Brown oh. or it's the great pumpkin Charlie Brown and I don't know about any of you but like some of you know my story and I don't have a lot of great memories of my mom, but the fall was her favorite time of year, which is why it probably stands out to me so much. And it might be one of the reasons I love Halloween. I didn't piece that together until recently, but she would get Brent and I a coloring book each year and then our own little thing of Crayolas. And I can remember us sitting at the coffee table with the great pumpkin, you know, it's a great pumpkin. Uh, Charlie Brown was about to come on. 
and she would make us hot chocolate. And I can remember that and something about Brent being beside me and like the hot chocolate. It was just, you know, and it's a, it's a little cartoon, but, you know, whether it was Christmas or Halloween, those Charlie Brown specials coming out was always a really big deal. So mm -hmm. that's, that was one of my favorites too. I will add to that after KJ. Yeah, I say, I, well, I love Snoopy and anything <laughs> peanuts yeah, um, in general, but The Great Pumpkin is one of my favorites. I still watch it. Oh. Um, I recently had a conversation with one of my students about Halloween and getting dressed up. And I think, you know, I believe strongly that no matter how old we are, that that little kid in us is still there and has to come out and play every once in a while. It's important. And Halloween, I think, is that time where that little kid, you know, whether you're 20, 30, 40, 50, whatever you are, that kid has got to come out. And whether it means you're getting dressed up and to answer the door for us, or I get dressed mm -hmm. up when, we, when I go to work uh, for Halloween, and so do a lot of my coworkers. Um, I'll let you know the secret this year. I really want to be R2-D2. Oh, nice. Halloween. so I'm like researching costumes. Not that I have a lot of time, you know, it's two weeks from now and I haven't done anything, but you know, we'll figure that out. Um, but yeah, the great pumpkin, pumpkin and just everything about Halloween, you know, around here in the States, um, people just go crazy. I think about Halloween between the costumes and the decorations and pumpkins and pumpkin spice, like pumpkin spice is everywhere. PSA. Um, Right. And um, in the candy, you know, for me, I'm not a big candy eater. So going around with our plastic costumes, I was always the smallest one of the group. So I was the last one to the doors because like, the, you know, you had the plastic and the mask slipping and I couldn't see it was a nightmare. But the candy um, at the time in my neighborhood, we had people that would pop fresh popcorn and give out apples and like homemade food, even homemade chocolate. And then all of that stopped because you weren't allowed to hand it out anymore. Um, but we, my sister and I would come back and I'd give her all the chocolate. She'd give me all her lo lollipops because I do like those. And, um, you know, and I'd keep gum and, and that kind of stuff. But it was always a lot of fun. And then as I got older and I went around with my friends, we would just plot out our costumes. Sometimes they match. Sometimes they didn't. Um, you know, once we grew out of the plastic costumes, then we just started making our own, which were just as much fun, I think, as buying something store-bought. Oh, um, yeah, for sure. Yeah. So it is It is huge. Um, it's funny to me when you see more like Halloween cards in like the card stores than you see other holiday cards. Right. <laughs> Tina, you're up. Oh, so... The, what what really always brought me in the mood for Halloween was a couple things, but did you guys ever see a cartoon movie in the 80s called The Great Bear Scare? No. No. Ted E. Bear. No? Okay. So it's on YouTube. God bless whoever uploaded it. Every year I watch it to this day in October at least once. Every year. It totally transports me back to my childhood. Um, but also, I used to like to watch... Um, you guys remember TGIF? Yeah. TGIF. Like, all the shows and, like, when they would do the Halloween episodes. So mm -hmm. it was little things like that. The foliage, the pumpkins on the stoop. Um, we, when I was... I think I was 13. Um, we lived in Huntington Station. And there was this wicked house, um, had black gates, and it was deep back, a lot of woods. And um, there were so many stories about that house. And um, every year, not condoning this, we were kids, but every year we would like sneak into the, into their, um, into just into their yard, and we would tell scary stories till we were like either caught or just got bored. Um, <laughs> awesome. I'll always remember that. Um, but yeah, what KJ said too, those um, crappy ass masks with yes. the rubber bands and or the cardboard or like the onesie type costumes. Yep. Yep. Oh God, they were and awful. The weather, yeah, the weather was never right for it. Like either you, 
so hot. Right. You couldn't do anything about it because the whole thing is attached from the tip of your toenail to right. the top of your scalp. Right. Uh, or it was too or it was cold and you couldn't put clothes underneath it because it was plastic. And it had like this crappy opening in the back, right? Yeah. There was like that space Velcro. at the back and it like buttoned on your neck. You can literally Google co- like costumes from the 80s and you'll see like the box costumes. Um, and yeah. and I remember the stores around here that sold them, you had to go. Like there was like a, a watch, the costumes are out, everybody. And if you didn't go right away and get the costume you wanted, you weren't getting it. Like, cause they would have like two of each kind. That's true. Right. That's and, um, and then once it was gone, it was gone. Um, so it was crazy. Uh, I'm trying to remember my costumes. I think I was Mickey Mouse one year and I might've been R2 before. one year or, or Yoda or somebody from Star Wars. I don't remember. Um, I was, I'm thinking, like, what are some of your favorite costumes that you wore besides the plastic crappy ones? Can I just say real quick that Snoopy is making a special guest appearance? Hi, Snoopy! Okay, he's really abused. No autographs today, please. Before, aw. Like, like he likes pumpkins, all because he likes licking at you all the time. So he's trying to get to me. You're confusing him. Before we go into the favorite costumes, which is great. Are you guys finding every year you're getting less trick or treaters? Yes, yeah. that makes me sad. It makes yeah, me I'm sad too, especially because, like, well, you guys already know I am a Halloween girl. It's my favorite holiday. I didn't and know. And now, that. and I understand why. I know it like, either. I totally get it. Like, people are handing out candies less because of so many home invasions and things like that. Kid, people are taking their kids out less because, you know, more and more people aren't handing out candy. And yeah. so now one of the things we used to do with Tyler when he was little is we take him to these fall festivals where he'd get to play a game and then get a candy. And I was all for it. It was cool, but it's not the same. Mm-hmm. It's just not the same. So anyway. So who wants to go first? Favorite costumes? Hmm. I guess I can since I asked the question. Um, oh, I was, um, well, I was Phantom one year. I was a punk rocker, you know, which was big in the 80s. So I like dyed my hair blue and orange. Nice. And wore like baggy jeans and I don't even know what top. I had bandanas and I literally carried my boom box or my radio around on my shoulder, which was, you know, and I had my high tops with the shoelaces open. Um, <laughs> and one year, actually, this is a cool story. So I love cowboys and cowgirls. I'm sorry, nobody watched Lulu commit murder. I, right that's now. why I was laughing. I wasn't laughing. <laughs> I wasn't paying attention. Like, no, he was going to beat me. So, no, I'm sorry. Okay, I'm it's gonna... okay, Buster. We <laughs> won't let her have it. Let KJ finish. Rhodes. Oh, yeah. So, one year I was a cowboy and um, I actually wore my mom's costume that she wore when she was a kid, which is kind of cool. And I still have the costume. You sent me a picture of that, I think. I, I think I did, yeah. yeah, yeah I, did. I want to add that if that's okay. That's awesome. Yeah. I'd like to add yeah. that for the episode. Who's, so next? who's next? I want Lulu to go next. Okay. Uh, well, well, I only did one. So the one I liked wearing was the ghost one. But if I could wear one of them, I think I would like love to be a witch. A witch. Yeah, a witch. Okay. I like that. Mm-hmm. Uh, like maybe a killer of mosquito. Oh, a mosquito? Yeah, well, he was going to beat me, so I, ki- like, I, I didn't even kill him. Did it threaten you? Did it say, pie? I'm going to bite you, Lulu? <laughs> no, but literally, he fell away. Like, he didn't die. Like, he literally he fly away. Okay, right, putting Snoopy down. <laughs> Favorite costume? <laughs> The wolf? The one you're wearing? I love it. Um, I also did a uh, skeleton. Skeleton. Yeah. Nice. Do you have any pictures of that anywhere, Chrissy? Uh, somewhere. Somewhere. Wait, Chrissy's head to see it. just killed me. <laughs> I do. I have it. Okay. Sunny? Um, okay, so 
one of my favorites because I wanted it so bad because I loved Tweety Bird at the time. Um, I said the Tweety Bird. And so anyway, it was, um, I found like, and at that year, for whatever reason, they were selling out like crazy. And my grandfather found me one at Long's Drug Store. I don't know if you guys remember that store. Those of you who are here. And um, he got me one and it was like one of the last ones and it did fit me. And I was so excited. Like, so that one. And then one year I was Popeye because I loved Robin Williams even then. Another year I was Mork. Um, I was a gel bird uh, one year. So I had this whole little gel costume. Um, and then one year I was oh, a tornado, which I thought was. Oh, that's the, awesome. Yeah. So I yeah. sewed, I had sewn all these like little cows and houses and, and things uh, to this black dress. And then what I would do when people asked me what I was, is I would spin around. And so it looked like. <laughs> opening yeah. portals yeah and I was like check it out there's a cow and they're like you know anyway but uh yeah so I love that and then oh one year I was a pink later lady and Tyler was um a t-bird and That's it was cool. his first it was his second Halloween first Halloween awesome. I got yeah. and I have pictures somewhere of that that I'll have to send over but I even printed out like I even bought the stuff and on my I had a pink shirt and I printed out um uh pink ladies and on his little jacket it said the t-birds and i had his hair all greased back with black little condoms and yeah so that's awesome so that's oh, my guys i have three three favorites i'm gonna go backwards so this one was in my 20s i told i told you sonny about it car accident victim yeah that was just a big hit i had glass coming out of my face and like i messed up jugular whatever that thing is the vein yeah so that was pretty um cool. that's awesome do you have pictures of that oh yeah i have yeah i do have pictures um, see that. and then when i was a teenager do you guys see that um scene in karate kid where ralph macho was in the shower when he was at the school dance yeah oh yeah 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 yeah, yeah. I did that. My mom helped me with that. Made like a home. That's one. awesome. Yeah. Man, yeah. that is so cool. You have to share a picture of that. I don't know if I have a picture of that one, but I'll, I'll double check. I know I have a picture of this other one. Um, I think I was less than 10 years old. Casper. Oh, Casper, Casper was the best. Yeah. So those were my favorite. The friendly ghost. That's awesome. I love, yeah. I love these. I want to see a picture of all these costumes. <laughs> No, Adrian, go back to the pet store and sell some fish. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> That's not Adrian. I don't know what that was, but whatever. Uh, I just wanted to fight with Dina. So, bring uh, it. go ahead. East Coast versus West Coast, right, KJ? That's right. Come up. Let's What's go. Up, Let's do this thing. Let me get my knife. <laughs> bro. Yeah. What's going on? Okay. What's the creepiest thing that's ever happened to you on Halloween? Oh, I don't think anything ever crazy has happened. One year, this is, I was older because I was, I was working at the school and I had a kid, this, I don't know how many years ago this was, but I had a kid who came in. He's like, why is this school closed on Halloween? I'm like, it is not a national holiday. We wouldn't close school. It's like, well, we should. So we went through this whole thing. I'm like, well, that's great, but school's still open. So wouldn't you know that Halloween, we had a massive blizzard. What? And schools were closed because we had a snowstorm on October 31st. Wow. So the next day I saw him, I'm like, well, you've got your wish. He goes, no, Halloween was canceled because of the snow. It doesn't count. I'm like, but you weren't in school, which is what you've asked for. So it does count. Right. <laughs> so we've had that happen a couple of times where literally Halloween is canceled or postponed because of weather, which is just That's bizarre crazy. to me. Like, why can't you walk in the snow? It's not a big deal. Um, <laughs> I don't think we've ever had Halloween canceled here. Yep. It's been canceled because of weather. We had to here. Once, one year when I was little. Yeah. Really? So what happens? You guys go out the following day? Yeah, like they'll reschedule it for another day. Like that's just not at the day of the week. But it's just not the same. Yeah, that's not the same. That's too bad. Um, we also, when I was little, we had some um, 
so you you're familiar with goosey night right ladies my my states ladies lulu chrissy do you know what goosey night is have you heard that so the night before halloween is usually like a mischief night where kids will go out and do anything from toilet paper people's trees and bushes to throwing eggs and other things at their houses like just causing mischief so when i was younger in my in the development that i live in um, we had a group of boys that were pretty awful in terms of the damage that they caused to people's houses so one year one of my neighbors drove around in a pickup <laughs> truck with guns like rifles, Real guns? rifles. Yeah, I don't know that they were loaded, but like, you know, and just watched to make sure that the kids who were running around weren't damaging property because that's what they were doing. They were damaging property. Toilet mm. paper will go away. You know, who cares? But when you start smashing pumpkins and throwing things at people's houses, it stains. So that was once a big thing. And that like the trick or treaters has also kind of died down. Um, which I guess isn't necessarily a bad thing because it did get a little rowdy, but, um, but it was huge, you know, when I was a kid, that was, I never went out on goosey night cause I never really saw the point of it, honestly, but, um, that's me, I guess I was too good of a kid. I didn't, I didn't want to damage people's kid. property. Yeah. So I don't know, Tina, uh, and pumpkin goddess, did you have any of that by you? goosey night was that a big thing um i'm Had sure that my night. cousins did something i i don't recall it i've never I'm, i've not heard of it until now we well, no, we had it but we had it we had it the night before we had it the night of and sometimes uh-huh. we had it the night after um it depends on i guess each town but i i have to say that uh, i was involved in a few of those in my younger more impressionable no day. not you <laughs> it's hard to believe yeah, but we never did. Listen, we never Somebody did. Somebody ever handcuffed you and threw you into the back of a car and was like, "No, we never did." Here, Rocky. We never bothered little kids. It was like the TP in the houses. Um, we would egg, we would throw eggs to scare the trick or treaters, but we wouldn't hit them. Um, but I told you we had a friend that had a station wagon. Just like Michael Myers, in one year we all wore Michael Myers masks, and we would just try <laughs> pitch trick or treaters. It was the funniest thing. It's like six of us in there. That's <laughs> awesome. Um, who wants to go next? That's pretty awesome, Kate. I, I, about- I I can go. So my creepiest Halloween story actually has to do with being a full blown adult. And so what happened? was I was PFO president at Tyler School. So it was up to me to take care of a haunted house. So for like a week, we've been working on this thing. So basically, um, we did it in the library. Uh, that's where we created it. And there was these two bookshelves and the way they were positioned, it almost looked like a little hallway. And so we put trash bags on either side of them. And then on each side, like the longer sides, we put like a little window And then we had a slit on the bottom so we can crawl in and out to scare people. So the thing is, you cannot touch anyone. So when you're in a haunted house, you could you could jump at them. You could do the jump scare, but you cannot physically touch them. So we had several different scenes set up. We had a cemetery they had to walk through complete with the fog lights. We had um, a Jason Voorhees area like it was pretty to do like it was we actually got some complaints because people said it was too scary, but they put me in charge. And so anyway, so. The first thing that happened was now Joseph was helping me and Joseph at the time, I think was like maybe 11, 12 years old. Um, and I went into that little hallway area cause I was going to scare people. And we had this fake hand that we would put out and like bring it back real quick. And when I crawled in and stood up, I was facing the window and then I heard something behind me and I turned around and there was a man standing there and I about lost my freaking mind. I was like, what the hell? And so I, squ- I had the walkie talkie. So I said, so I said, um, uh, I, I can't remember her name, um, but I called to her and I said, turn on the lights, turn on the lights. And so they turned on the lights and it happened to be one of the dads of some of the kids who th- acted like he knew us really well, but we all thought he was creepy. And so we had to kick him out of the whole like fall festival because it was like way beyond trespassing. And then 
Joseph gets on the walkie talkie and he's like, something's wrong. Something's wrong. And I'm like, okay, so we turn on the lights. I go to Joseph and Joseph literally has a bruise on him from when one of the dads came through with their kids. And all Joseph did was he was doing the, the Jason Voorhees thing. And he, all he did was stand up out of the rocking chair. And I guess it scared the crap out of the dad and the dad hit Joseph. And so that was another issue. And I was like, dude, we're putting this on for nothing. Like we've been working our asses off to make this fun for the kids. The third thing was we had two kids that kept going through. They were twins. Like, so you couldn't even tell them apart. Right. And they kept going through and they kept pushing the little kids that were going through the haunted house. And the thing was, there was not enough volunteers to walk those little kids through. So we would say, you know, you, you do not have to have a ticket. If you're an adult, you can go through with your kids to keep them safe. We cannot guarantee because we can't watch them all because there wasn't enough volunteers. And so these two kids pushed down these little girls and they could not have been like more than six years old. They were tiny, really petite little girls and they pushed them down and they proceeded to keep coming through the haunted house. And at the time, I didn't know that this was happening. So finally, a bunch of parents were outside the front door and they had kids with skinned knees or skinned hands. And because these two twin kids kept going through and pushing them down. And I think that was just creepy because who goes through and makes something that's supposed to be fun and exciting for little kids and make it fearful for them? I always thought that was so screwed up. That's messed up. Yeah. That's, who's next? (laughs) Wolfman, go. So, it doesn't have to be Halloween. Oh, okay. It could be that time you went to that wedding. It could be right now. Oh, yeah, the wedding. I mean, I'm thoroughly not right now. What one thing's coming to mind at the moment? Lily, you go. A room like I don't really know. Where well, like Tina would make fun of me because I have clown in my room, but they actually like didn't do anything wrong to me since I have them and I have them since I'm a baby, so everything is fine. <laughs> Wow. All right, I'll tell you my story if you guys think, but we got to wrap it up anyway. Uh, we got about five minutes. So after that, we'll each say something, whatever. So my story goes like this. I lived in Iowa for two years and Illinois. And let me tell you something. Iowa knows. They know how to do a haunted house. They got those core mazes that go for days. So we go as a group few girls, few guys, each of us hook arms with, with our guy or pick a guy. So we were wearing masks and, and, and stuff like that. Now the guy, uh, Brian, uh, he was pretty tall. He had one of those uh, uh, generic like clown masks, right? Wasn't from it. It was just a generic clown mask. So we go to this haunted house and there is a big gorilla holding a banana in the beginning. And he like tells you to go in. And for whatever reason, he thought it was funny to like follow me around and just stand really close. And I was like, listen, like if you're trying to get your gorilla nuts kicked in, like keep doing it, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Right. Like it's funny for a second, but when you're doing it for like a whole last five minutes, it's not funny. Right. So I was like, okay. But you know, it was all fun and games, whatever. I wasn't really mad, but so we go in and I'm arm to arm with Brian, who's wearing uh, the clown mask. And some friends are in front, some friends are in back. Now you're going in to like individual haunted houses, right? You're going in through the cornfield. So it's like in and out. And it was like 20 minutes long. It was awesome. So there was a couple of times where I lost Brian because he actually was bigger baby than I was and would run away and scream like a girl. <laughs> so... <laughs> Towards the middle, I want to say, okay, 15 minutes in, there was about five minutes left. I'm holding Brian and I'm like, no, you you like it so far, this and that. And all of a sudden, he's not answering me. I look over to my right and Brian is smoking a cigarette. Oh my God. (laughs) So I said, (laughs) you ever see the movie? Brian's over there. 
then who are you? <laughs> oh my God. And I remember the guy just tilted his head. I'm, I'm assuming it's a guy by his height. Tilted his head, looked, didn't say anything, and then ran. Just oh ran. So I don't know God. whose arm I was holding. But Brian's like, <laughs> Brian's looking at me like, oh, that wasn't me. And I'm like, dude, that's not funny. Like, right. you're just sitting there smoking his, like, defend your woman. I mean, I wasn't his woman, but you know. So that was the creepiest thing that ever happened. I felt like Scooby Doo. Of, that, 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 that's Brian. Who's yeah. that? <laughs> I mean, no Scooby Snacks. <laughs> so yeah uh chrissy looks displeased i can't tell are you afraid of the dark do you guys ever watch that by the way mm, I don't are you afraid so. of the dark and tales from the crypt yeah tales from the crypt i watched so, my favorite thing was halloween watching it on yeah halloween. so i so, can spend my time at a cemetery and stay all night i'm not scared chrissy it's even creepier with your mask on when you say that <laughs> I spend my time in the NICU. I feel like no joke. I call them my little appetizers. Oh, <laughs> I, I feel like her eyes are gonna go like that yellow. Like <laughs> I feel like it's not. It's the Brian story. That's not Chrissy in there. Chrissy's gonna walk past this person, <laughs> and we're gonna be like, "Oh my god, Chris, stop it." That's that's good. I love when you're talkative. I I, <laughs> I was trying to do a hell, but I can't do one. It's it's <laughs> nice, nice. <laughs> okay. Anything? Okay. So for me, the Halloween season is complete with the foliage, a hayride, pumpkins. One haunted house visit, uh, scary movie at least once a week in the month of October, a visit to the uh, man, yeah, Halloween store, and trick or treaters. Halloween For sure brings out my inner child, and it makes me happy. Even if I'm just in the house giving the kids candy, seeing their happiness, and seeing all the cool costumes because the costumes are so much cooler now, and. Um, my favorite thing personally too is when these parents or kids or whatever make homemade costumes that are really creative. If you watch Bob's Burgers, they always mix two things together. And I think that's so hilarious. Like instead of the girl with the dragon tattoo, Louise was the dragon with the girl tattoo. I just yeah. thought that was hilarious. So I love it. I got one. Okay. All right. Uh, I would love to have season Season three of Happy. Ah, there you go. Happy was a very Halloweenish show on Sci Fi. We're the going to have a season three with a Halloween special. So yeah. I'm not happy about that. It was a creepy show. Christopher Maloney, Sci Fi Network, got canceled after the second season. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Lulu? Uh, I just wish I was living in uh, 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 in uh, the U.S. to do a red arrow and That'll happen one day. I'm sure you'll experience Halloween here. Yeah, maybe. KJ? Um, I guess um, I'm similar to you, Tina. To me, it's the whole season. It's the decorations. It's the, it's the squash <laughs> time. I love all the squashes. Um, pumpkin spice and everything nice um it's seeing the kids dress up and get so excited to be out and about it's like a cool thing I don't care how old you are um and I I think it is I think it's a time that it, it's a holiday that everybody can celebrate and have fun and find that inner child because I think that child in us always has to come out and play and we forget that too much and this holiday allows that to happen so i love it well said absolutely sonny you're gonna wrap us up i will wrap it up by saying that uh, i think i agree with both of you that i think for me it's that first chill in the air let us right that first that first like you know getting to have like the sweater on um daisy's in here 
having the like the first time you get to have Butters and baggy clothes. Like, yeah, yeah and, and getting to wear sweatpants to bed because now it's gotten cold enough. Um, having apple cider, we put a little uh, bit of caramel along the edge of it and then do our apple cider. Um, I think it's all those things. I think it's watching, you know, it's a, it's the great pumpkin, Charlie Brown. I think it's all those things watching the 1978 version of Halloween. Um, it's all these things uh, for me. It's not just the one thing it's baking. It's, it's cooking again, like more of those soups and stews and things like that. So I think it's a little bit of everything. Uh, well, but with that, you guys, we thank you for joining us. Happy, Happy Halloween. Halloween. All right. All right, you guys, thank you for joining us for our Halloween edition of the Box People. Thank you to KJ for joining us for a second episode. You're our first guest to be on two episodes. So thank you for that. Don't Come back forget to it. like, subscribe, and share. We are on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, and Twitter. Uh, thanks, you guys. Box People, out. <laughs>